Hey guys, so every now and again you come across the saying, the vegetation is choking the river. But is it really choking the river, or is it just slowing it down, allowing water to seep into the sides, and filtering it because it usually comes out sparkling clean on the other side? And that water is usually really good for wildlife. And oftentimes people say that it's choking the river and they will clear all of the vegetation away, creating a space where water will flush down as fast as it can and straight out to sea. And if this happens, then water isn't given the chance to infiltrate into the land around it, providing water for the trees, allowing water to stay for longer, giving wildlife like birds and frogs and all those kinds of things an opportunity um, to spend time in that water, as well as creating a fire hazard. If you're flushing all the water out of the system, instead of allowing it to just sit for a little bit, you know, and flow down gently, then you're creating a drier landscape. So allowing vegetation that grows naturally in rivers to stay there and one, filter the water, two, allow water to infiltrate into the land around it, and three, provide habitat, I guess. Um, yeah, anyways, so this is a beautiful little river or a choked river, which is finding its way, it's meandering its way up there. And I just wanted to show you this and I hope you're well and having a wonderful day. Take care.